Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you the way how to make the creative type photographs uh, actually the post which is for the Instagram and Facebook so the car post uh, actually I made this one for the Instagram post or social media post hope that you will be like that so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notification so going to the file at first and taking the new options I am using 2022 actually and uh, from here we will take the 2000 pixel and 2000 pixel and giving the name car advert ok that's good and hit the create button and after that we got the blank layer and after that we'll go to the file and go into the place embedded options from here i downloaded some couple of images and from the unsplash and making this one a little bit bigger actually fit to the skin so that's good and i'll make this one a little bit down of this okay actually uh, what we are doing actually going to the this type of things 3 is to 1 okay uh, we can give this one or we can get this one easily if we using the crop tool when you pressing the crop tool you are getting here this line actually the rule of third actually and the 2 is to 1 a 2 portion of these will be into the upper side and the one portion will be the downside and hit the tick button okay we got the cropped image and then we'll go to the file and going to the place embedded options from here i downloaded some png images of car i just place embedded this one making this one a little bit smaller okay that's good that's nice now we'll have to this one match with the background so right print and restylize the layer after right pressing restylize the layer this is the bg and the first one is car that's good selecting this car layer going to the filter and neural filter options in this neural filter portion here is harmonize and we'll make this one according to the background harmonize that's fine the color is popped up and hit the ok button okay after that now time to add some shadows and some like lights and other stuff so let's do that okay these two things selecting this bg layer taking the background actually the blank layer and then here is the brush tool so p from the keyboard and then draw a shadow like this because of the light is coming from the right side we will make the shadow from the right side actually left side okay after that uh, making this one make selection and hit ok and fill this up how to fill it up controller command delete okay that's fine and then go to the filter and go to the blur gallery or go to the blur from here the motion blur so we'll make this one motion blur because of the shadow is coming and it will be like realistic when you're giving the motion blur and make the angle zero that's good press controller command t and make this one a little bit like that and making this one a little bit bigger okay and press controller command j if you want you can give this shadow to the underside of the car and making this one like that that's good now we'll take another gradient layer and we'll place the gradient that is the black gradient this type of gradient and hit ok and hit ok and make this one like this okay the scale will be uh, 165 or like that and make this one into overlay or you can make this one multiply that's good and make the opposite a little bit up down okay that's good and now going to the file again and going to the place embedded options from here i'll take another photo that is like that actually the hill scenario i'll match this one according to this or you can do one thing you can take this one to the downside of the layer and bg1 
that's good and mask this one upper side G from the keyboard and you can remove that things it will be more realistic that's fine and now gradient should be like that okay now time to do some color correction of this layer actually this layer so going to the filter and camera filter from here from the basic portion i'll make the vibrance a little bit down yeah that's good and now going to the color mixture going to the hue hue of the red i'll make this one orange this one and the yellow this one and now i'll make the saturation a little bit up it will make the red type of flowers in the trees and it makes sense actually because of the car is red okay that's fine and hit the ok button that's nice again going to the layer options and going to the filter and neural filter from that we'll again do harmonize because of we change the background according to the background we'll make this one like that and hit the ok button that's fine so we'll delete these two car we'll keep only this car that's good and now taking another blank layer and then going to the edit and going to the fill options taking the 50 percent gray from the underlining or this drop down menu and hit ok right press and make this one into convert to smart object uh, actually we should make this one create clipping mask and then we'll make this one overlay or the hard light so i'll make this one overlay okay that's good and going to the dodge and burn tool dodge is the light tool when you brush this one it will be more lighter and the burn tool is the black one so i'll make the car uh, tires uh, or everything will be black because of it's a uh, into the shadow so into the shadow you are getting the black vibes over there okay that's good and the dodge tool will use the dodge tool the highlighted areas that is good so before and after shadow and highlight you will do more dodge and burn if you give more time to dodge and burn it will make sense and it will be amazing that's fine now we'll do another thing we'll do color correction of the car going to the filter again and going to the camera filter from here we'll do the red color hue little bit of uh, this type okay plus 21 in the situation a little bit up luminance a little bit up and then going to the basic options from here we'll make the highlight up and exposure a little bit down and the contrast and the whites will make this one a little bit up and blacks will make this one a little bit down and then dehaze will make the dehaze like that and hit the ok button so our car position should be a little bit upper set making the group this one and car press ctrl or command t making this one a little bit upper side yeah that's good so now we'll go to the here the color lookup from here we'll use the fuji film this type of color and make the opposite a little bit down yeah the color will match with that now we'll work with that text and other steps so going to the file and place embedded and the logo which is the mazda logo and making this one a little bit smaller and you can use it into the upper side i'll suggest you to use this one into the downside because of in the downside we are getting the uh, blank area and uh, it should be the fill up by the text and the logos it makes sense actually so going to the text tool and write down something here i'm using a font which i downloaded from the dafont.com and i'll provide you the download link in my video description so the italic one and increasing the font size actually like this and we're writing new car and new like uh, energy so we should provide some gap 
in between we're making this one auto because of here 48 and we should make the spacing that is 36 or near to this that's good and hit the tick button I press control or command t making this one a little bit smaller and making or placing it into the downside and according to this logo actually okay that's good and we are making this one into group text that's fine and press control or command a and making this one into middle of the alignment and now the decoration now we'll make the car actually in the new we'll make this one red because of the car color is red and energy will make this one red it will make sense according to this and uh, it's giving you the uh, variation of text writing okay now we'll go to the illustrator actually and we'll write down something uh, like go going to the text tool and selecting and writing something like a new text or new card so this write up copying this one and going to the illustrator going to the text tool control command v and these things will make this one into the middle alignment and now going to the this type of uh, things actually will turn off the stroke fill color and giving the stroke that is the white color and giving the stroke thickness 2 or 2.5 that's fine for me and make copy controller command c and going to the photoshop and controller command v so we'll make this one a little bit smaller like this and placing over there and i'll just drag it and uh, place it into the back side of the car and really this one will stand out your design okay that's nice and then here we'll use the extra light just because of light is coming from the right side and uh, to emphasize this one we'll do another lights it could be the warm light so going to the warm tone actually this type of warm tone and hit ok going to the brush tool B from the brush actually you can press select once press ctrl command T and making this one a little bit bigger okay that's fine and going to the blending options and making this one screen mode if you want you can make the fill like this that's good now here we'll do another thing going to the level options because of we want to stand out the background so here we'll do this one like that and like this so shadow is working over there but one thing is that because the light is coming right side we will do some light uh, over there so taking another blank layer and then going to the brush and down a little bit of opacity and select once once over there so randomly because of uh, we want to make this one light is uh, just uh, dropped out into the uh, leaves over there and making those screen mode or overlay mode or you can make this one into screen mode okay that's fine and going to the blending options making the things and it will make the soft one and now we can change this one into like soft light or overlay or lightening that's good press ctrl command t you can make this one a little bit uh, like a bigger so let's see the before one monotonous and after one you're getting the uh, dynamic things over there so we'll make the group all the stops and making the screenshot or snapshot whatever you can tell and after that going to the filter and nick collection and color effects pro 4 so this one is another plugins for the using filters and other stuff so i do love to use that and you can try it on okay from here i'm using the cross processing and from here I am using here the filter which is the C04 and that is good for me and the strength 33% shadow highlight is good and hit ok and after applying the filter it will take little bit of time and it will provide you the final output so our before one and after one you are getting like that so that is 
literally easy to do that and you will make the standout poster for your company it will help you out to do more hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i may say when i'm signing out stay safe stay healthy keep me in your prayers bye bye